This time on Jairus of All, I've got an awesome one day build that's got me praying for two things. One, there's gonna be a food fight. And two, the actual project ends up being small enough I can pick it up to launch some tater chips. Recently, somebody gave me a can of Pringles they didn't want, and it brought back a lot of memories. Cause when I was a kid, getting Pringles was a special treat. Not just because we got the chips in the can, but because the can itself was a toy. Cause you could do this, and make a loud noise. So my siblings and I used to fight over the can to see if you could get to pop it the most before it wore out and started getting a hole and it wouldn't pop the lid off anymore. But now that I'm older, I can use a Pringles can to do stuff that's a lot more fun. Burn a hole. <laughs> that actually worked really well. Two, one. <laughs> this is actually a surprising amount of fun. This was a fun little project that took maybe five minutes, but inspired me to do something a lot bigger. But it's totally dependent on whether a Pringles can will fit really nicely inside a common size of PVC. Which means it's time to do something that everyone loves to do. Take a trip to the hardware store. plan's pretty loose right now, but I'm gonna take that big long tube that I got and split it into two. That way I have double the Pringle Puffin delivery. And I'll take some old boxes and use the cardboard from those to make the holder system that goes onto those tubes so that I can be accurate with it. And I got a wood dowel to be able to put some extra little bits and parts on it. It's all gonna get stuck together with various types of glue. And then to make it go off, I have my magic spark maker box and that zip zap part We'll have to get some wires extended to make the magic happen inside the tube. But then the really cool part is turning the Pringles can into a Sabo tube so that when it comes out, it expands and drops away as a perfect stack of Pringles flies and is delivered to the person that is in need of snacking. While pondering this plan, I realized this will be the preeminent instrument to precisely puff packets of Pringles to pining piggish people promptly in a peculiar yet propitious practice, pampering the most penurious populace with plentiful provisions, permuting the pitiable personage to a pleasant pack possessing Pringles. I've got the plan, I've got the parts, I've got all the Pringles. Let's make this thing. Huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this project possible. Anytime I have templates for projects just like this one, they're available exclusively to Patreon supporters. If you're interested in that for this project or any of my others, link to that is in the description. A huge thank you again for making my Pringle popping dreams possible. Because this goes together in layers, it's very easy for me to make an interlocking finger joint for the brake barrel action on this. So every couple layers, it's gonna go back and forth to which one actually grabs the dowel rod that goes through the middle. It'll give me a lot of strength, even though it's made out of cardboard. And the fact that it's a bunch of different layers also gives me the ability to take sections where I need to put stuff inside and cut those out before the layers get glued together. That way I don't have to carve it out later. The spray glue I'm using is definitely the expensive way to put this together, but it's almost instant. Put it on and assemble it and get back to work on it right away. It would be a lot cheaper and a lot stronger if I watered down wood glue and did it that way like most people do, but I'd have to wait a full day for it to dry. And this is supposed to be a one day build, so spray glue it is.
Attaching the cardboard to the launch tubes is actually pretty critical. If I mess it up, it'll be difficult to fix slash redo, and I need enough bond area to make sure it can support the weight of the six foot pipes. So I taped off the area to make sure my alignment was right and to make sure I didn't get epoxy dripping down the barrels. And then I used the quick mix stuff out of the tips because that way I would have enough time to be able to put it together before it all set up. I'm drilling very short holes into the PVC that's part of the pressure chamber, but it's gonna be fine because they're short enough they're not going into the inside and it's in the coupler, which has the other parts adhered inside it that are also pressure rated. Short screws too. Yes! Stressed out a lot about what to name this thing, and I came up with at least a dozen different names for it, one of which was DP Kypad, dual puff, kinda instant Pringle aerial delivery, but then I came up with a name that I felt fit in more ways than one, and I really liked it. The Sabode Pringle Ultra Fast Delivery System, SPUDS for short. To use this, I pull on my brake barrel release tabs, and I fold this down, and I can unscrew my access port. I put the magic gas in that makes the Pringles fly out. I cap this and then I put the Pringles in the other end of the barrel. Once that's done, I just close this back up. It's real, real easy. And then it's ready. I just have to arm the spark boxes and push the buttons. This was supposed to be a one day build, something fun to make that would give me some more time to make some good progress on the Manus plates. But like any project, it ended up taking longer and was a three day build, which is fine because it turned out so cool. It's over seven feet long, weighs just over 20 pounds, but it feels like it weighs just over 30 pounds, which doesn't sound that bad. But when you're holding it up, you're supporting that 30 pounds with your arm extended straight out. After spending three days building this though, I don't even know if it works. So let's try it out. Ready? Arm. It works. <laughs> Bad news is I need a lot more space to test the Sabo Pringle rounds. And right now we have the residual rain from Hurricane Ida. And since this is mostly made from basically paper back here, it'll melt if I take it outside in the rain. So I'm gonna have to wait till it dries out. But this thing did turn out so cool that I'm totally fine with giving it its own dedicated test video. So if you wanna see that when it comes out, make sure you're subbed with notifications turned on and I will see you very soon in that next video. Thanks for watching.